Hello and welcome to our next episode of Neighborhood News. Today I am here with Tasha Coker. Hi, Tasha. Hello. Uh, Tasha is actually um, part of the Salvation Army in Lorraine. Um, she is a family service worker and she's here today to talk about UCAN, which is the United Community Assistance Network Collaborative. Uh, Tasha, tell me about, so what is UCAN? Um, actually, it's several agencies throughout Lorain County, and we assist um, working uh, individuals, adults that are in need of, they're facing a crisis. Um, like they, they can't pay their rent, they need car repairs or utility, they're just, they're needing help. Okay, and then so, so this is really a, a, a service that's helping a lot of families probably especially during the pandemic um how has you can collaborative how has it changed the process um since the pandemic began began um we're doing a lot more uh where it would be online applications uh phone interviews instead of seeing the client maybe face to face that's the way that we are um we've changed during the pandemic Okay, and so how, are, how have you seen the client's needs change, um, especially um, compared kind of before the pandemic and then now during the pandemic? Um, I know in the very beginning, um, a lot, of, you know, because the state of Ohio was shut down. So a lot of individuals lost their jobs. Um, they were not receiving their unemployment. Um, they, they didn't know how that they were gonna put food on the table, pay their rent, pay their utilities. So definitely in the very beginning, uh, we, I, I was very busy with helping out families, um, just keeping a roof over their head. Um, still the same, um, they are of course, you know, receiving assistance now through the state and federal, but um, their needs have not changed. They're still facing homelessness and uh, utility disconnections because that has resumed um, they are disconnecting utilities now. Okay, so you're still seeing that there's a very great need for, for help still in our community, yes. even with the assistance um, that's been provided federally. Yes. Okay, and so what kind of, um, what, what, give me like a typical situation that, um, that you hear. Um, um, like. I'll have a client that will call and they are going through right now, like a utility disconnection. Uh, they may owe a few months because they're, they just now started receiving unemployment and they've went maybe five, six months without any kind of income. So they're trying to um, catch up with all their bills, but their utility bill is just so high for many months of not being, you know, able to pay. So they may owe a thousand dollars or more. Um, so they they will call, you know, seeking assistance for that. Um, evictions are still occurring, even though uh, this pandemic. It, I've had people living in their vehicles who are seeking assistance with uh, shelter. Um, so there, there's a lot of sad stories that are that I'm going through. And so I know there's there's such great need in the community and, and part of this collaborative um, really while it why it started was to make sure that these you know I mean how long do you know how long the collaborative has been been around? Oh I believe at least six seven years. I've been in it for two years. And who are your other partners that are in this collaborative? Neighborhood Alliance, Oberlin Community Center, um, North Ridgeville. Um, there's quite a bit. And so yeah. all of, there's so quite I was going to say, so yeah, there's, there's several agencies that are a part of this. Um, and it's, and it's really helpful and the different, um, so it's only Lorain County, correct? Um, with the you can with our you can the part that we are in like Catholic Charities is a part of it, um, but yeah, just within Lorraine County. And so, if I was a a person who is watching this right now, and I 
um, need to need help with my my rental assist rent or um, utilities or something like that. How, who do I contact and what does the process look like? Um, you can go on to the 211 United, like call either 211, um, that's through United Way, and you would tell them, you know, what you're needing help with, what city you live in. They will get you in contact, well, they'll give you a number of who to contact that is for your city. Such as with me, I can help individuals that live in Lorraine, Sheffield, Sheffield Lake. Um, you know, the other agencies, they take on the other, you know, different cities. And then what is that, what does the process look like once they call you? Um, they'll call and then we do a phone interview. Also, they can do a you can online application. So they would submit their online application and that immediately will go to one of our agencies. And then we will be in contact with the individual either through email or through a phone call. Excellent. And then, um, so also, is there a success story that you'd like to share? Uh, somebody that you helped, were able to help and you know, maybe where they are now? Yes, um, uh, I did have a couple who were facing a water disconnect. They owed around a thousand dollars, and she was not having good results in you know getting any kind of help. Um, she did come in, you know, we did, you know, she did all of her paperwork, and I was able to pledge that amount so her water would stay on. And she had, you know, they had a young child and. They were basically buying food and paying their other rent and their other bills because their income, their hours had decreased significantly, you know, since the pandemic. Um, so she was just so overjoyed that I was able to pay this large water bill. Now, and there is, I mean, from my understanding, there is a limited amount of funding every month for this, correct? Yes. Okay. So the people that get in, you know, you're able to help. Um, some may have to wait till the following month to be able to get their application submitted. Correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tasha, again, for, for sharing this with me today. Um, if, if any of our viewers or supporters need assistance, uh, like Tasha said, you can call 211 um, or I believe you could visit the United Way website as well. Um, or even reaching out to, you know, Neighborhood Alliance as well, we could uh, connect you with the appropriate people. Um, is there any other way that, that you could see that uh, maybe even supporters could help? Um, I guess always, you know, donating uh, to this, you know, the you can uh, also just being aware that this money is being used, you know, to make sure that people are not facing homelessness and they're able to keep their utilities on. It's being used in great ways. That's just so very true. Cause you know, not many of us, I mean, there are many, many people that live paycheck to paycheck. So um, if, if, you know, paychecks are starting to slow down, hours are slowing down, especially when you're right on the, on the border of, of that, you know, homelessness can happen very quick. And I know that we see it, um, Neighborhood Alliance runs the Haven Center Homeless Shelter, we see it. Um, we also obviously help support the UCAM program. Um, so we hear a lot of this, those similar stories um, about how people are, you know, a water bill, a thousand dollar water bill could then turn into homelessness. And we don't want that to happen, especially for families in Lorain County. So thank you again, Tasha. Um, if, any of our supporters are watching this and you want more information, please visit www.myneighborhoodalliance.org. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.